Uh, for our friends here in the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And of course, uh, to our esteemed guests, uh, the Indonesian delegation headed by His Excellency uh, President Pidodo. I am pleased to inform you of the results of a successful visit of this of the President of Indonesia, President Joko Widodo, here to Manila. Today, we had a cordial and productive discussion on Philippine-Indonesia bilateral cooperation, taking the opportunity to reaffirm our two countries' strong bilateral relations, most especially as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of our country's diplomatic relations this year. As immediate neighbors and fellow archipelagic states, the Philippines and Indonesia agreed to continue our cooperation on political and security matters, noting the recently concluded Joint Commission for Bilateral Cooperation, headed by our respected foreign ministers. Advancements have been made on several action points in the JCBC's Plan of Action, which was signed on the 5th of September 2022 during my state visit to Indonesia. Our shared historic roots are deep, and thank you to our close kinship and our cultural ties that we continue to promote and we continue to allow to prosper. The Philippines and Indonesia enjoy this affinity for one another. As such, our exchanges and discussions about ways to deepen our political and economic ties have come naturally. Our ministries have worked hard, and today we saw one of these works bear fruit. As we witnessed the signing of the MOU on the cooperation in, in the field of energy. Through this MOU, our countries create a new synergy as we cooperate to achieve energy security. In addition to this MOU, another MOU on science and technology is nearing the completion phase as well. So today we also recognize Indonesia's contribution to peace and development in the southern Philippines. As Mindanao continues to reap the dividends of peace and democracy, we hope that Indonesia will continue to extend its helping hand to building the institutions of local governance, particularly in the, the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. We also took this opportunity to reiterate to our respective agencies that they must expedite the relevant MOUs that will help unlock the economic potential of BARM to encourage development, particularly on the livelihood of our many constituents residing in the said region. President Pidodo and I had a fruitful and honest discussion on regional events of mutual interest, such as the developments in the South China Sea and ASEAN cooperation and initiatives. And speaking of ASEAN, as founding members of the South Association of Southeast Asian Nations, and the Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, East Asian growth area, the Philippines and Indonesia affirmed our insistence on the universality of UNCLOS, which sets out the legal framework that governs all activities in the oceans and in the seas. Let me take this opportunity to once again extend my congratulations to Indonesia for the successful chairmanship of ASEAN in 2023 and we look forward to Lao PDR's chairmanship this year. I uh, would like to once again thank uh, President Widodo for finding time uh, to visit with us in the Philippines, the first head of state I have had the pleasure of receiving in the new year. Welcome once again to the Philippines, your second home. Presiden Marcos Junior, terima kasih atas sambutan hangatnya kepada saya dan delegasi. Presiden Marcos Junior, thank you for the warm welcome extended to me and my delegation. 75 tahun hubungan diplomatik Indonesia Filipina adalah momen tembai untuk lebih memperkuat kerjasama konkret kedua negara. 75 years of Indonesia Philippines diplomatic relations is an excellent momentum to further strengthen concrete cooperation between our two countries. Terkait hal tersebut saya ingin menyampaikan tiga hal. Yang pertama, 
Di bidang politik dan keamanan, kami sepakat memperkuat kerjasama perbatasan dan telah saya sampaikan pentingnya mendorong percepatan revisi Border Petrol Agreement, Border Crossing Agreement, dan penyelesaian batas landas kontinen serta penguatan kerjasama pertahanan termasuk alutsista. In this connection, I would like to convey three things. First, in the field of politics and security, we have agreed to strengthen border cooperation, and I've conveyed the importance of accelerating the revisions of the Border Patrol Agreement and Border Crossing Agreement, the settlement of continental shelf boundaries, and the strengthening of defense cooperation, including defense equipment. Yang kedua, bidang ekonomi, untuk meningkatkan perdagangan, kami sepakat terus membuka akses pasar, dan Indonesia meminta dukungan Filipina terkait dengan special safeguard measures untuk produk kopi Indonesia. Second, in the field of economy, in order to enhance trade, we agreed to continue to open market access, and Indonesia seeks the Philippines' support related to special safeguard measures on Indonesian coffee products. Saya juga mengapresiasi kepercayaan Filipina pada BUMN Indonesia dalam membangun infrastruktur penting di Filipina dan untuk groundbreaking North South Commuter Railway Project penting untuk dipercepat. I also appreciate the Philippines' trust in Indonesian SOEs in the construction of Philippines' important infrastructure and for the groundbreaking of the North South Commuter Railway Project, which is important to be accelerated. Yang ketiga, terkait kawasan, kami sepakat pentingnya penguatan kesatuan dan sentralitas ASEAN yang bukan hanya sekedar jargon, serta ASEAN yang harus terus berpegang pada prinsip-prinsip hukum internasional dan menjaga positive force untuk perdamaian, stabilitas, dan kemakmuran. Terima kasih. Third, regarding our region, we agreed on the importance of strengthening ASEAN unity and centrality that is not merely a jargon and for ASEAN to continue to uphold the principles of international law and become a positive force for peace, stability, and prosperity. And that's all from me. Thank you very much. Thank you.